Hi, it's Kathy with another episode of Fast and Fabulous on Friday. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little uh, card with the Pocket Full of Sunshine uh, stamp set, which is new in the annual catalog. This is not your traditional card. I actually don't have anything here um, to make it open. Where the uh, message is, is you lift up on the sunglasses and there is the congratulations graduate and tucked behind you'll see there's their check so let's get started and I'll show you real quick how to make this card what you'll need first is a piece of marina mist measuring four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches a piece of lemon lime twist measuring four inches by five and a quarter inches. A piece of dapper denim that measures three and three quarters inches by five inches. A piece of marina mist that is at least three and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. And you'll be cutting that out with the uh, pocket die. A piece of lemon lime twist that's approximately two inches by four inches and again you'll be cutting the sunglasses out of that and you'll need a piece of whisper white that measures two and a quarter inches by two and three quarters inches so we'll start with the pocket and here is the pocket stamp and as you can see it can contort so my first recommendation to you is uh, let it drop down onto a surface and it'll kind of go into the shape that it wants to be in and then pick it up and that way you don't have the chance of it being a little off center i'm going to use dapper denim ink and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see a little bit more. There we go. And ink that up. And stamp that in the center. And then we'll get the little... Um, v-shaped piece and again I set that onto my surface and picked it up and we'll place that down here and stamp it okay and then we'll get the whisper white piece and I'll stamp the congrats grad. Now remember that there will be your um, sunglasses up at the top. So make sure this comes down a ways. Maybe about halfway or so. Like that. And then again we'll take that V shape and put that at the bottom. And then along the sides will get the long straight piece. Now this will fit on to your G block just fine. The problem with putting it on there is it's very difficult to see for lining up because it's so close. So I recommend using a larger one where you have a lot more area of visibility with it. So we'll place this here and go along the outside edge. And put one on the other side. Just like that. And then our last piece of stamping is the sunglasses. And that is going to go onto this lemon lime twist piece. Just like that. And I actually took my wink of Stella and kind of gave it a little bit of a sheen and glittery look um, to the glasses. So 
We'll do that real quick. And it helps also smooth out that ink on there. So I actually really like the way it looks. Okay. Um, then on your piece of dapper denim, you're going to run that through the uh, Big Shot with the ruffled embossing folder. So we want to mist our paper first. So let's go ahead and do that and lay that down in and run that through the Big Shot. And again, I'm going to remind you that you only use one plate. And here it is. And I actually like the back side better where you get these um, little different dimensions. So that's the side we're going to use. And then we're going to cut out these two pieces and I'll be right back with you when I get that cut. Okay, we're back and you'll see that there are little score lines that were done while we were um, cutting. So we'll fold those back. like that and use your bone folder and get those pressed down really well. Okay. And then on the back on these little areas, I took my tear and tape get the end here and cut a piece, cut it in small pieces and then cut it lengthwise as well so I could get the, the right length to go into these areas. And even still, I need to trim a little bit. And we'll run one up here and the other on this side. Okay, and then finally, um, a couple of other little pieces before we start our assembly. I have the ombre ribbon and I've got a piece of the lemon lime twist and I'm just going to make a little tiny bow. Just like that, get my ribbon scissors, trim the tails, and there's my little bow. That end looks a little big, so let's adjust those because I want this to really be a small bow. So we'll get that even adjusted down a little bit more. And you could also use the little in color bitty bows. These little ones here, they would work as well in the lemon lime um, or even one of the other colors if you want a little, you know, jazz it up some. So that's another idea if you don't have the ombre ribbon. So we'll go ahead and start assembling this. Um, we have one more thing that I used and it was one of the stickers from the Eastern Gold Vinyl stickers and I chose one of them that is one of these four piece ones and cut it in half diagonally and that's what we'll be using. So let's start attaching these pieces together. We'll go on here and then on to the backing. Now, if you want to write a really nice note to the graduate and have some advice for them or something, just take and put a piece of Whisper White on the back side here, and then you can do your message that way. Then we'll take our pocket.
and place it at the bottom here, just like that. Next, we'll take our little sticker and put it on our pocket up here at the top. And take a little glue dot and put our bow. At the bottom here and then finally I'm going to take some of the outside edge pieces here of the dimensionals and place them at the top and I'll slide this in pull these off and place my sunglasses on just like that. Slide my check in the back and my card is ready to go to my graduate. So I hope you like that card on Fast and Fabulous Friday. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next week with Tippin' on Tuesday and Fast and Fabulous on Friday.